in Somalia, droughts and floods wreak havoc. Somalia is ranked as the world's second most vulnerable country to climate change. Four out of five Somalis rely on seasonal rains for agriculture and pastoralism. Rising temperatures, unpredictable rainfall and deforestation is making things worse. After the long two and a half year drought, which started in 2020, came what the UN called once in a century floods. Satellite imagery taken in October and then November show the impact of the flooding in Baidoa, a city in the southwest of Somalia, with one of the largest displaced populations in the country. The camps are dotted with plastic stretched over domes of sticks. The flood washed many settlements away. The drought and flooding along with ongoing fighting has displaced more than 3.8 million people, more than a fifth of the population. These climate crises impact both the government and the Islamist group Al-Shabaab. Militants control large swathes of territory in Somalia. Al-Shabaab tactics, including collecting taxes, blocking access to essential outside aid, and destroying wells, contributed to popular discontent during the devastating drought and played a role in a clan uprising that spurred a government military offensive against the group. Despite their punitive policies, the group has shown it's aware of the climate risks and even distributed aid to some communities, perhaps more for propaganda purposes, and even led some water infrastructure projects too. In Bula a town Al-Shabaab controls in the Southern Bay region, Crisis Group confirmed the construction of a water reservoir, a canal and a water tower. Al-Shabaab's video highlighted the infrastructure project, featuring local residents who claim the nearest water source during the drought was around 60 kilometers away. Local ceasefires and climate resilience initiatives involving community leaders and Somali NGOs could build trust and open doors for future higher level negotiations. Complete defeat of Al-Shabaab seems unlikely. The Somali government needs to provide better basic services in recaptured areas to counter claims the militant group cares better for Somalis under its control. As Somalia continues to confront these immense challenges, there needs to be a coordinated effort to build a climate-resilient future. <laughs>